Hello everybody, welcome to the Bird of Dining YouTube channel. My name is Morgan, I'll be your host, and we're gonna start the journey today. Um, behind me, you can see my canoe here. It's a 17 foot click attack, and we'll be restoring this thing and doing some uh, modifications to it. Um, I've gotta rebuild my outriggers. I turned this into a trimaran of quite a few years ago and uh, the trimaran or the uh, outriggers um, they were stored improperly uh, so I've got to rebuild those completely and I'm gonna add a little cabin to the thing so where I can uh, eventually I'll put a, some type of little electric motor in it power it that way um, I'm thinking a rudder mounted um, trolling motor type of setup um, I'm gonna be mounting a, a permanently mounted rudder to this thing and we'll be building a sailing rig for this uh, going junk style uh, junk rig style um, probably somewhere around uh, 12 to 14 foot mast maybe I can get it up in the 16 foot range that would be uh, preferable because all of it's not going to be fully usable um, there will probably be a good foot and a half sunk in the uh, uh, the mast well and then probably another foot or so maybe a little bit less near the top of the mast that's you know used for the tack lock and tackle and stuff the lines and, and the sheets um, but yeah so that's what's going on today I will be um, modifying this wood here um, I took a short video with my GoPro and whatnot and I'm just basically uh, building a, a cradle uh, building some cradle pieces to mount to the um, to mount to the uh, what you call it the sawhorse is there, and then that way I can flip the canoe over. Um, I'll put throw a little bit of padding on this, uh, and then I can flip the canoe over, canoe over on this, and it'll hold it nice and stable, um, upright, while I uh, do all the repairs and upgrades to it. There's a little bit of fiberglass repairs to do. Um, I've got to do some work on, I believe they're called the gunnels or whatever the top rail uh, wood is called. And then basically all the, uh, not all the wood, but a majority of the wood on there needs, uh, actually not even a majority of the wood needs replaced. I replaced the gunnels or whatever the heck the, the wood on top is called. I'll actually look that up so I know what I'm talking about next video. One of them needs to be replaced or just, you know, scabbed in a new section or something like that. I'm going to try and find more of the same wood um, it has to be steam bent so I'll have to do that again uh, the outriggers they are going to be built in a uh, stitch and glue method uh, last time I used zip ties this time I'm probably going to use um, either some hemp uh, some hemp rope or uh, copper uh, copper wire so and then I might even add a little a small keel uh, to the uh, um, to the outriggers but uh, other than that, uh, that's about it. I'm just, uh, let's, I'm ready to get busy. Let's do it. All right, so this is my click attack canoe, 17 footer. And I'll be doing all the work on it to get it ready for the uh, bird of dawning. A, pretty much a total refinishing. I've got to rebuild the outriggers and uh, fix fix any spots. There's one of the one of the pieces of wood down there I need to replace, plus a bunch of other work I'll be doing, adding a little cabin and um, uh, what you call it, and a uh, sailing rig. Going to go a junk junk rig. Deal. What I'm about to do now, though, is cut these little holders here. So I can mount them to the sawhorses and flip the canoe over, and it'll hold it upright while I uh, do the work on it. So, anyways, let's. Uh, get into that. Let me see where I can set this camera for now. 
I'll be using my just my regular cannon over there. It's what I've been using for pretty much everything else. But anyway, so I've already marked everything out. For both pieces. And then I'm just going to uh, drill a couple holes and mount it straight to the, the face of that there. And we'll be at an angle. It should, um, should keep it from sliding out. And I'll be able to get, get busy. So... Anyway, so let's uh, let's do that. It's gonna cut down the middle. Uh, I'll probably, it doesn't have to be super straight, so I'll just use the jigsaw again. So now, just need to uh, mount these two pieces to the sawhorses. Then I can flip the canoe over, um, you know, for work. And then I've got an extra set of sawhorses if I, so I don't have to store it upside down or right side up in the rain. Anyways. could have hacked it off with a hacksaw and the time it took me to find the tool to change the uh, blade on my um, cutoff wheel here um, I just figured this is a lot better for saving my energy so here we go and done Or the inside. Okay, so that's one done. I'm gonna go ahead and do the other one real quick off camera and uh, get this thing wrapped up before I lose the weight. Alright, 
so as you can see I was able to get it flipped over and see a little bit of where some of the someone had done some repairs on here they weren't a hundred percent I haven't looked up in there in a while like if you look over here some ripping here okay um, you know so it's a little bit on on the sides there there's gonna be a, a little bit of repair on each each of these um, this is this is one of the worst ones I'll have to dig into that a bit and uh, put my my skills to work um, I've got quite a bit of uh, skills uh, experience working with this fiberglass so um, also this is the this is the forward section a much more it's about the same width or whatever honestly I'll be redoing a lot of this with this actually what's cool is I just realized not cool this piece is split and um, you know I was looking at replacing some of this I'll be cutting some of this off here because I'll be building the cabin section right here okay and then up here um, up here is where we'll be building the um, whatchamacallit <laughs> that's where the mass is going to go right there right up in here boom and we'll be building uh, some uh, some wood sections up in here to hold it there and then um, you might have to um, might have to put some rigging stuff or whatever put some cleats up here at a minimum or whatever on the front but this is my nice 17 foot cleat my nice I call it it's nice to me Let's see if I can get on this other side real quick Whoa. my uh, registration basically as you can see there's some tearing in this section as well but I'm gonna pull all that out anything that'll pull off I'll pull that out it didn't look like it got wetted out very well pretty dry fiberglass there so there may be a bit bit more work than I really want to do but you know it's it's what needs to be done to get this thing right so um because this thing's going to be put into service asap i'll be going across country with it and i'll be splashing it down in a few places uh, what i wanted to do here is, yeah, i don't know who had done that before i'll fix those areas and uh make sure they get a chance to dry out well enough I do plan on drilling a hole back up in here somewhere because I'm gonna I'm gonna mount a rudder permanently mount a rudder up in here so I'm thinking it'll probably have to be at an angle actually no not too much of an angle probably want to get close to here I may even just uh, Make it where it just stays, it's all mounted up here and it don't, I don't have to push a hole all the way through the thing. So that's what I was considering doing. Because I had thought that this piece was all the way up here. Now if it you know, was flush with the deck up here, that would be a better option. But since it, it's just gonna, if, you know, if I don't get that permanently sealed uh, well enough, it's just gonna leak into the canoe, which I don't want. So, yeah, I'll probably just make it so where it's um, mounted some up, somewhere up in here and the mechanism will be inside here because eventually um, there'll be a tiller, tiller mechanism connected for a while and then eventually I'm going to um, make a little helm right here because this, this cabin is probably going to pop up a few inches at least, you know, maybe even, um, you know, maybe even get it up, you know, about 16 inches above the deck here. I'm still trying to figure out exactly how I'm gonna do that. I'm thinking, um, I'm thinking I'll enclose the section here and uh, make it so where I can put a canvas over that while um, while transporting and stowing, and then make the 
uh, cabin section, you know, like clip on or bolt on or something like that, you know what I mean, removable basically. So maybe you make it so I can like stow it inside the boat while it's uh, being transported. So anyways, that's, uh, that's my project. Oh, I, I wanted to look at this section up here. Oh, come on. Okay, so, yeah, this one doesn't look near as bad. But, so yeah. Yeah, these, uh, most of these I should be able to keep. Like I said, I'll be cutting them off about there on each side. Boom, boom. And then over here, um, like I said, because I'll be putting the mast up in this area, um, I'll be replacing all this with something different, so I'll just cut it off here instead of having to worry about getting a whole new section. I will. Uh, we'll redo the hardware. It is stainless currently. Um, or maybe I'll just clean it up a little better or get some type of uh, little trim for it or whatever. But, yeah. Alright, so it's been a couple of days since last filmed yesterday I came out here and removed all the guns. Um, as I said, I was going to look that up and I'll put a link in the description below to the terminology, uh, to a dictionary uh, for that. And I figured, you know what, maybe each episode we'll explore a new um, or a different nautical term. And this episode is gunnels, spelled G-U-N-W-A-L-E-S, not pronounced gunwells, as I once thought, uh, pronounced gunnels. Uh, I would imagine that would be sound like it's spelled like G-U-N-N-E-L-S, but obviously it's spelled G-U-N-W-A-L-E-S, gunnels. And that's the, at least on a canoe, that's the top pieces of wood that go along this uh, section right here. So, anyways, um, with all those removed, I was able to see the, the, uh, the work being done uh, a bit better. There's uh, quite a bit of uh, damage up here, but that's fine. Like I said, I'm going to be inventing uh, some plywood here for the rudder mount and uh, some decoration and stuff like that. But, yeah, anyways, that's uh, that's what we've got going on. Um, yeah. Alright, well thanks for joining me on the Bird of Dunning YouTube channel intro video uh, where I start the project with my click attack canoe here. Uh, please subscribe for regular updates. I'll be posting videos once a week, uh, possibly more depending on um, my editing skills and uh, also the weather. Uh, we're still dealing with some uh, winter weather over here in the Pacific Northwest. So I uh, hope to see you again soon. Be well.